Greetings, and welcome to another Sense of Self. I'm really excited to have Shay Mitchell as our Sense of Self guest today because first of all, I love Shay. She's just an awesome, really cool human. And I've also been a big fan of Pretty Little Liars since the show first aired. I've been following it since like episode one, season one. I love that show. And it's been a really special experience to get to know Shay. And what brought us together was my coming out video because she saw it when she was on set one day and reached out and wanted to get lunch. And I just thought that was so cool that she wanted to get lunch and talk about things that were meaningful to her and also hear what I had to say. It was just like a really special thing where I was like, oh my gosh, this person has so much impact on the world and she cares too. Like. This is amazing. And so I really wanted to do a sense of self with her, but both of our schedules were like all over the place for so long. So it took us a while to like find a time where we could shoot together. So she brought her stuff over to me. And so we're not gonna be like in her space, but we're still gonna be able to see five things that are really special to her. And it really meant a lot to me that one, she took the time out of her day to shoot this video with me, but also too, she put so much thought into what she brought and that was really cool. She has a story for everything and it just gives her more layers and that's always so cool when you kind of uncover the different layers of a person that you're getting to know. So I had a lot of fun and I hope that you guys enjoy watching this as much as I loved shooting it and hanging out with her. So here we go. All right, so I am here with Shay. She has her little secret bag of her yep. five things. I do. So we want you to peek. So. I know. You're really leaving us hanging here. <laughs> but not for long because nope. first up we have... So one scent that I absolutely love is this little roll-on perfume and it's called Persian Garden. And every time I wear it, people are always like, what are you wearing, what are you wearing? I mean, you didn't say that to me today, but like I did put this on, that's why. <laughs> that's why. I was but just gonna say, you know, I didn't ask I didn't you notice, that. But I didn't put this on today yet. Oh, that right. smells so good. It does. It's a little roll on, and you can find this at like Whole Foods or Air One. And it's, I think it's like $12 or something like that. But I love it because I just put it behind my ears or like on your wrist and you rub it in. Isn't it so pretty? It's so like good. if I just walked by you. Yeah, it you smells know? like <laughs> just putting your limbs by. out. Yeah. Like. <laughs> what my? Oh my and, gosh, um, this smells so good. Is this like an amber oil? Because it kind of smells it like- It kind of does, yeah. But they're just little roll-on perfumes. So this is my scent. I love fragrance oils too because they make the scent so much more potent yeah. in a really great way so you don't have to put on as much. Exactly. Now that we've covered our noses, it's time for... So this is actually really funny. This is like a story. This is what it's all about. This, this is what it's all about. about. <laughs> okay, if you were to just see this, you'd be like, okay, it's a black rock. What is this? Like, it's shiny, it's black, and okay, great. Well, when I auditioned for Pretty Little, Pretty Little, bleh, bleh, bleh. it's a tongue twister. <laughs> when I auditioned for Pretty Little Liars, I was so nervous, but I wanted to have something that was grounding. And so for me, it's always been like rocks or stones, and I pick them up whenever, wherever, I am that I'm getting them and I have to like feel grounded and like feel a connection. I know it sounds a little weird but I'm telling you when I go into auditions I literally put this in my pocket and it just is calming to me. This wasn't the rock that I used when I went in for my audition. It was smaller because it had to fit into my jeans but this was the one that I held on to before we went on The View. It was like Aww. our first talk show all the girls together and I remember buying this from a store and I was just like okay I can do this and anytime I held on to it it was just very calming for me. So if I'm doing something like an audition or a big talk show or anything that's sort of nerve-wracking to me. I always just have one of my rocks with me or stones or magical grounding things. I like love I that. I don't think it's silly at all. Okay. I think that's awesome. I carry around stones in my bag sometimes. Yeah. And then when I'm feeling like stressed or anxious, it's nice to be able to have that to be like, exactly. Okay. Like redirect your energy. Yeah, exactly. And I have one that's in my so car. That's so cool. So this is my touch. How special is that that you have that memory attached to it too? It's really cool. And that I still have that rock and I'm just like, wow, that was in my jean pocket when I went in there. Time for... 
First, I want you to guess what you think this is. I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind, I probably shouldn't say. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like somebody that hasn't had much water to drink. Right. Okay. So it could look like a urine sample. I get it. The color. All right. Somebody really needs to drink a lot of water. No. This is actually hot chili oil, hot pepper oil <gasps> from Africa. No! It's chili oil. Okay, I was just recently in Africa and they had these on all the tables because you don't know this about me, but whenever I go out, I need hot sauce on everything. Like if there's not hot sauce, I can't eat it. I'll just take it home with me and I'll wait until I have my sriracha or my Tabasco, whatever it is. I'm the same way. So yeah, I <laughs> need hot sauce at all times. And so when I was in Africa, I forgot my little sriracha keychain. Yes, I have one and- They're awesome. I have one, yeah, exactly. <laughs> And the little Tabasco things, I left those, I completely forgot. So they had these on all of the tables. And it's like this little eyedropper, which is perfect for my bags, but still like all you need from this is a couple of drops and it will like, do you know what kind it, of pepper it is? It looks like a yellow pepper, that's what it is. It's not that hot, do you wanna try it? I'll try it. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a little. Let's see. Is that hot? That is good, right? and it is hot. You don't need that much. <laughs> you don't, are you gonna burn your mouth? No, <laughs> I'm good. I love it's spicy. Like, throughout the video, you're like sweating, you're like, like it gets breath. hotter and hotter. I love that though, because it kind of like creeps up on you in the back, which is what yeah. I like with spice. I want that yeah. now. Yeah. How is, amazing. Like, I know, it's just so good, and it, you, all you need are a couple drops. So I am hugely obsessed with this, and so chili oil for me is something that I need to taste at all times. I wonder if we could find that here. I wonder, we should look it up. I mean, it's probably gonna take you all to run out. To run. <laughs> There's kind of a lot you only need like a couple drops on the food, but it is so good. And so. don't confuse it with eye drops. No, that would burn. All right, time to show our ears some love. Love and love, young and lovely. The girl from Ipanema goes walking. Oh my god. Oh my god, you don't even know? I grew up listening to this song. Did you really? Yes. And I, from Ipanema? Yeah, it reminds me of like summer nights because my dad loved Bossa Nova. Oh, I love Bossa Nova. And it reminds me of like laying in bed and then hearing my dad playing the Bossa Nova music oh in the house. Oh my gosh, I love oh it. God. So this is my ringtone. So what you just heard is Girl From Ipanema and it's Dan Getz and I am just obsessed. So anytime my phone rings, which is kind of off the hook all the time, it really just calms me down. I love that. Oh yeah, my gosh. that is my ringtone. How did you so discover that, Bossa Nova? I remember being a little girl, my dad playing it, and then just hearing about Ipanema Beach sounded like this magical place. And then about four years ago, Lucy Hale and I went to Brazil. We got to go over there, and we were at a hotel right across from Ipanema Beach. And I just remember opening the blinds, and I had the song playing on repeat, and I was like, I'm here. Oh my god. It was amazing. So this song to me just always makes me feel so happy, considering it's my ringtone, which kind of goes off. That. I love that. I love Stan Getz. The yes. music makes me feel like safe. Yeah. And secure. Yeah. And like you're somewhere else, like yeah. you're on vacation or something. Totally. I love that you have that as a ringtone because somebody walking down the street today had their ringtone set as a sound that used to be in my alarm. And I was oh, like, gosh. I know. <laughs> it's so funny though how certain sounds, I mean, with anything, with any sort of sense, like certain things just bring up memories. Yeah. And so I've had the same thing too with like an alarm and it was somebody's ringtone, like you have to change yeah, it. Yeah. You're like, no, <laughs> make it you stop. Have to change make it, it stop. Yeah. And last but not least, I brought a book, oh. and this is one of my favorite books. It is The Fifth Agreement, A Practical Guide to Self-Mastery, and I truly feel like it is because there's just different lessons in here that I read and then I highlight certain things. They're just simple agreements that you make with yourself, and I really just love reading this book whenever you know I'm not feeling the best or I just need a little reminder, and it's just about not judging people, not making assumptions, be skeptical, but learn to listen. Oh. You know, so it's just, yeah. it's a really good book with a lot of great messages. Messages. And he also has another one of my favorite books, and it's The Mastery of Love, which is all about relationships. Oh my God. And it is such an amazing book. After reading this book, I truly understood how to have like a proper relationship with myself first, and then with other people, and just relationships of all different kinds. I'm gonna have to read that. You do. It sounds and like something that's right up my alley. It's a really, really great book. I feel like the road of self-improvement is one that's lifelong. Exactly. All right, so that is gonna be it for, I can smell you. 
ill, by the way, and it smells so good. As you move around, I'm just like, told you, that's why I did this, because you need to get the action. So good. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also make sure you go over to Shay's channel, because we did a haul together, yes. and we got some pretty awesome stuff. We did. So go ahead and check that out. It'll be linked down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.